Hello, in this video tutorial I will show you with the help of two examples how we can create special roof shapes in CAT Villa. We start with the left project. We have already opened the project and in the next step we will create a roof on it. On the following positions we want to add three gabled roof sides to our project. Therefore we will need the support of guidelines. Therefore we select 2D and layout, 2D guidelines, guideline and for example the horizontal guideline which we could also choose with the shortcut H. We place the guideline for example here and a second guideline here. After it we press escape. Now we select again 2D guidelines, guideline and vertical guideline. We place the vertical guideline for example here and press escape. Now we press the shortcut P for the function numeric parallel guideline and we zoom a bit into the view. We place a guideline from this line into this direction in a distance of 0.05 meters. We press enter. After it we press escape. We zoom out of the view again. And now our guideline grid is done. We continue with entering the roof. A short information about the guideline grid. In this area we have created a second guideline with a distance of 0.05 meters to add an additional roof side. This will give us the opportunity to define this area as a gable roof. Now we continue with our roof construction. Therefore we select Building, Roof Construction, Insert roof and insert roof on polygonal contour. We zoom a bit into the view. This is the first point. That's the second point. For the third point we switch to the guideline with a distance of 0.05 meters. We zoom out of the view again. The next point is here. And the rest of the points is located on the outer wall of our project. After it we press the right mouse button and we select complete. The roof construction dialog opens. We click on 3D to open the preview window and we maximize it. If we press and hold the left mouse button in the preview window and we turn the mouse we can turn the preview of our roof. If we do the same with the right mouse button we can zoom out and in the view. Now we select the first roof side in the preview window and we select for the profile a gable roof. Now we turn the view a little bit to the left and we select the next roof site and define it as well with a gable roof. The next and last roof site is this roof site which we have defined with a distance of 0.05 meters. Here we also choose a gable roof. Now each roof site is defined with the correct profile. If we zoom now a bit into the view we can see that the roof side, which we have defined in a distance of 0.05 meters, has an additional overhang. This happens because the roof side has an overhang of 0.60 meters and an additional space of 0.05 meters. On the other hand, the hipped roof to the right hand side has a predefined overhang of 0.50 meters. This results in a difference of 15 centimeters regarding the overhang. We select the last roof side again with a left mouse click and now we enter for the overhang 0.45 meters. 
we press tab and now we can see when we take a closer look to the 3D preview window that the additional overhang is gone. One more information, if you want the gables to be on the same level of height, the gable sides need the same pitch and width. Finally all parameters are defined and we can confirm with OK. The roof is created, now we select the 2D view and we zoom a bit into the view. Here we can see that there is no more additional overhang and everything is on the same level. Also we can take now a look at our roof in the 3D view. More information about roofs you can find in our video tutorial how to edit and enter the roof. You can find it at catvilla.com support slash en. In the next step we will define the roof of the right hand side project. We have already prepared the project without an existing roof. Now we select the 2D view and we press the shortcut P for the function numeric parallel guideline. We enter the first guideline from this line into this direction in a distance of 3.5 meters and we press enter. One more guideline from this line in this direction with 10 meters, enter. One more guideline from this line into this direction 0.05 meters, enter. And one more guideline from this line 0 meters, enter. After it we press escape. Like in the previous example we have created a guideline grid to be able to define a roof site in this area. Because the length of the short wall at the left and right side and the distance between the guidelines is the same with 10 meters the gables of the roof will be on the same height level. Now we enter the roof. We select again building, roof construction, insert roof and insert roof on polygonal contour. We enter the first point which is here. The second point is on this position. That's the third point. For the fourth point we switch again to the second guideline in a distance of 0.05 meters. The fifth point is on this position, that's the sixth. The seventh point is here and the eighth and last point is on this position. Now we press the right mouse button and we select complete. The roof construction dialog opens, we open the preview window and maximize it. We select the first roof site and we select for all three roof sites a gable roof. That's the next one, the roof site in the middle, again a gable roof. And for the last roof site a gable roof as well. After it we confirm with OK. The roof is created and when we take a closer look at the roof in the 3D view we can see that there is an additional overhang. We select the 2D view, zoom a bit into the view and also here we can see the additional overhang. If we press the shortcut D for the function distance we can see that the additional overhang has a distance of 0.15 meters. This happens because the gable roof side has an overhang of 0.60 meters and an additional overhang of 0.05 meters. The hipped roof sides to the right and left hand side have an overhang of 0.50 meters. The result is an overhang of 15 centimeters. We press escape and in the next step we will solve this problem. We select the 3D view, we select the roof, 
press the right mouse button and select Properties. The roof construction properties open, we open the 3D preview window and maximize it. We select the roof side with the additional overhang with a left mouse click. Because the additional overhang is 0.15 meters, we enter for the overhang 0.45 meters. After it we press tap and we confirm with OK. Immediately we can see that there is no additional overhang in the 3D or 2D view. We switch to the 2D view and also here we can see that the overhang is on one level. Thanks for watching. For more tutorials visit our website catvilla.com